So in today's video, I have the brand new Pulse Boost HD from Adidas, which looks like a new Adidas Boost running shoe, but it's actually one further because it features a new technology. It says it has Boost HD. Wanted to give you guys a review on these after wearing them for a day, let you guys know my thoughts and compare them to the Ultra Boost. Let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. Today is the very last day for you guys in the US to get the extra 20% off of clearance. Posted a ton of deals over at CollectiveKicks.com. Worth checking them out. Uh, really, really good deals in my opinion. And then also right now, they do have a 50% off Adidas Slides deal, which everybody should have a pair of Adidas Slides in my opinion. They're only $17.50 shipped, so highly recommended. Today though, I wanna discuss this shoe right here though, the Pulse Boost. HD and this is the LTD version. This is the very first colorway that released. There's gonna be more colorways on the way. Just a shoe that people are gonna be curious and see what this Boost HD is all about. You can see it is a little bit of a textured boost, different than what we've seen in the past. So wanted to give you guys some thoughts on this shoe. And then I actually have this pair of Ultra Boosts that I got recently that I wanted to show you guys. This pair comes out this weekend. Um, super nice suede leather colorway of the Ultra Boost. I really dig this one. So I wanted to compare the boost material from this shoe to this shoe because uh, a lot of people are gonna wanna know how does it stack up to the Ultra Boost, how is it comfort with Boost HD and all those other things. So hopefully I'll cover that for you guys in this video. Some words from Adidas, it says that the Pulse Boost is an adaptive shoe for urban running. Feel the city heartbeat underneath your feet, designed for urban running. These shoes are made from a breathable knit with a foot hugging fit. Strategically placed non-stretch zones provide midfoot support and low profile cushioning delivers a responsive ride. A reflective badge contains the coordinates for the key running cities, Berlin, New York, and Paris. That's what these must be, the coordinates right there. These are supposed to give you a responsive, stable feel with high density boost giving you endless energy return and superior cushioning with low to the ground stability. Says the unbeatable traction with a continental rubber outsole for extraordinary traction in wet or dry conditions. It also says join the community accessed through your mobile camera, a reflective badge connects to the web with information on running groups, routes and discounts. That's kind of cool, let's check that out. So I'll bring up my phone here. Here it is. Took a minute to actually catch it, but here it goes. So that's kind of rad, it takes you to a Spotify playlist when you scan. Uh, the tongue. I think that's kind of a neat uh, little innovation, something we haven't seen before. At least I haven't seen it before. It says the weight of the shoe is 12 ounces, so it is a little bit heavy. It's not super light. So the first look at the shoe just looks like a regular boost shoe with Adidas. The one thing that I'll say that's way different is the outsole is definitely rounded a little bit more. Kind of reminds me of a pair of Hardens for some reason, but the, the outsole is rounded as you can see around the edges, and it definitely feels like they formed your feet when you put them on. It is a little bit narrow in this section right here for me still, uh, unfortunately, but it is wide foot friendly. It has a pretty wide track. However, if you have a like a larger foot in this section again It's just a little bit snug, uh, but I went true to size on these I tried on actually a half size up and it was too big in the toe box section So I definitely went true to size you have a little knit pull tab on the back You have a nylon pull tab on the tongue here But really this could probably come off and then it would just be the mock tongue in the front and then the pull tab on the back Stretchy material around the tongue. It's not prime knit, but it's as they said, stretchy in places where it should be and not stretchy in areas where it should not be. So obviously the heel cup section right here is not stretchy. Uh, this is a little bit firm. It has a little bit of reinforcement underneath. A fused three stripes down the side of the shoe here. And then this section right here is not stretchy. And this section on this side is not stretchy, but down in the front where the toe box is, it's really stretchy and really, really breathable. And actually I really like, it felt really good on feet even though it wasn't prime knit, but you can see it's very, very stretchy in the middle section, but it's not stretchy on the side. And as I mentioned, it definitely adds to the stability of the shoe. And I think that that is something that this shoe offers more so than what the regular Adidas Boost offers. The stability of the Boost is something that they talk about more on the Boost HD versus just the energy return and the responsiveness of the Boost. So I think that's one thing that they changed with the formula of this Boost is the fact that it makes it more stable. So what does that mean? It looks like it's pre squishy here, but comparison to regular boost, this feels squishier in hand than this one. This is definitely a firmer than the regular boost. So I think that's the difference. They did, they took a softer, squishier boost midsole like this, that's a lot squishier, and they firmed it up a little bit, but it still gives a lot. So a comparison between this and bounce, I would say that this is softer than bounce still, and you get the benefits of the more responsiveness and more energy return from boost than you get from bounce but it's firmer than the regular boost. So if you have that squishy feeling in boost and you don't really feel like that's something you can perform in, I think that the Boost HD 
kind of offers something a little bit different where it adds a little bit more firmness to the midsole material and therefore adds a little bit more stability to each step. So kind of an interesting evolution in boost. This is definitely better than what was on the sub twos. It looked similar to this, but it was not the same thing. This Boost HD is a thousand times better than what Boost Lite was. Boost Lite just didn't feel like Boost. It was very, very hard and didn't feel responsive at all versus the Boost HD, which is firm, but it definitely has a responsiveness and you can feel it on your feet too. Um, so I think that this is kind of like an in-between again between Bounce and Boost and it really is pretty good on feet, especially for someone that's looking to use these as a commuting shoe, a running shoe, a weight shoe. Like if you lifted weights in the Ultra Boost and it was a little bit too flimsy, uh, this is actually a shoe that I could see myself going to the gym in and actually working out in. The overall construction and the upper of the shoe just has an inherently snug fit. And the fact that the tongue is attached, it means I can't leave the laces really loose and have it actually feel loose on feet. It's always going to feel snug because of the snugness of uh, the upper. So some might like that, some might hate it. I personally don't love having a really snug fitting shoe, but situationally this shoe makes the most sense with a snug fit also when they're also touting the stability of the shoe. In a nutshell, some of the things I like about the shoe, I like the adaptive knit, not prime knit, but the fact that the toe box area is really breathable and it's double reinforced in areas that you need it, it makes the most sense and it feels good on feet. I actually do like the Boost HD. It is firmer than the regular Boost, um, and I like the regular Boost obviously quite a bit, but it is nice to be able to change it up a little bit. And obviously the traction of the shoe is really nice, and I like the fact that it's kind of rounded and it really feels like a form-fitting shoe to your foot, and it complements the Boost midsole pretty well. Some of the things I don't really love, the snugness on the top of the foot right here is a little bit too snug for me, but it is what it is. And the design elements in general is just okay. It's nothing groundbreaking. I mean, it just looks like a regular shoe, nothing too fancy. The price point of these are $140. And so I think it's actually a pretty decent price point. It could be more, could be less. The Alpha Boost is 150. So these ones coming in at 140 is actually a smart move. It gives the Boost HD a nice entry level position for something that's a little bit different. So my final thoughts on the Pulse Boost HD. Um, I actually like the shoe. It's not a shoe that I think looks attractive. I don't think that it's like a must have for looks or anything. If you're on the market for just one sneaker that you need to use for multi purposes, like this is a great option for a shoe. It's one that is versatile. I'd say it's a good purchase and I'm surprised that Adidas just broke out this Boost HD without any knowledge of anybody knowing that this was coming out. But it's kind of a cool technology actually. It's nice little change up of the compounds, make it a little bit firmer. And for those that thought Boost was just too squishy, this might be another alternative that you might like. So worth a try. Try them on in store if you have a chance first. Uh, but if you guys do want to buy a pair, check the link in the description. That is my video. These ones come out soon as well, just to give you another look at these. These things are glorious. I love this colorway and the suede and the leather on the shoe look really dope. Um, yeah, man, it screams America. Fourth of July shoe right here. But uh, yeah, if you want to buy these, they come out, I think, on Sunday. Um, and I'll link those down in the description as well. But have a good rest of the day. If you guys are new to my channel, hit that uh, subscribe button. Maybe, please. Uh, there's a lot of people that watch my videos that actually don't subscribe. But if you've seen a couple of my videos pop up, you might as well hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you guys like the review. Thank you for stopping by and watching. Have a great rest of the day. And we'll catch you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. Peace, guys.